Hi, my name is Robin Reamer, and you're watching Feed My People Joy. And I'd like to uh, invite you to my website, uh, robinbremer.net. And today I want to go over one of my favorite scriptures that God has given me revelation about in the last year. Uh, this is one of those kind of scriptures that you just want to feed on it, and it like, takes your excitement level to a whole new place. Um, it's Ephesians 3, 10 and 11. And it says, His intent was that now, through the church, the manifold wisdom of God should be made known to the rulers and authorities in heavenly places according to His eternal purposes He accomplished in Christ Jesus. And I want to break that down and help you to understand that so it becomes a whole new revelation to you and is as exciting to you as it is to me. Now, first of all, in the beginning it says, His intent was that through the church, I'm the church and you're the church. So our job is to make the wisdom of God known to the rulers and authorities. Now, they know that by the stripes of Jesus you have been healed. But it, you won't be healed unless you know it. So you have to enforce that. They're rude. They're going to do whatever they can uh, to make you sick or to do whatever it is to kill, steal, and destroy you. So what you need to do is when you're, for example, when you're sick, uh, you have a sore throat, instead of putting on your pajamas and going to bed and saying, oh, oh, my throat hurts, okay, what you're going to do is you're going to say, because you're the church, and you're going to um, say the wisdom of God. You're going to make known the wisdom of God to the rulers and authorities in heavenly places. First of all, heavenly places is not authorities, principalities, and powers place. The heavenly places is where Jesus is seated, and it's our place. It's not the devil's place. It's our place. They're there illegally. Okay? So you're going to take the wisdom of God by the stripes of Jesus we have been healed because he took it on the cross. Okay, and he accomplished that. It's done. It's accomplished on the cross. So you're going to take that and you're going to let the principalities and powers know that you know and you're enforcing it. So you're going to say, I'm not receiving symptoms of a sore throat because in Jesus' name I have been healed. Jesus took all the punishment for my sin. He took all my sicknesses and diseases. By his stripes I'm healed. So I refuse to accept it. So, body, you're healed in Jesus' name. And you can do that with any of the eternal purposes that God accomplished through Jesus. And on my website, robinbremer.net, I have a uh, scripture that's called, I mean, I have a um, poster or a illustration chart that's called Nailed to the Cross. And it has a list of all the things that are nailed to the cross. You might want to take a look at it. But I hope that I explained this revelation to you and it's become a revelation to you and an excitement that wherever you go, you are supposed to let the principalities and powers know all the eternal, um, let's see, what does it say? The, etern the eternal purposes that were accomplished in Christ. So my name is Robin Bremer and you have a blessed day. I'll talk to you tomorrow.